very exciting. We're about to go into a town hall meeting for Governor John Kasich. But it seems like we have a lot of momentum, and we're thrilled with where it is. Okay. Governor, now that you believe you have a chance to win, how would you describe the mood of your campaign? Unrealistic or delusional? <laughs> Kasich works with crops, as you can see. Uh, this represents, uh, Kasich says, our national debt. And uh, it's also the number of people who don't know who the hell John Kasich is. Uh, this just in. It's also Chris Christie's step on scale. Uh, so this is his way. He's still, he hasn't finished stepping on. And uh, what else? I'm, tell, I'm being told it's also the number of minorities Donald Trump wants to tort it. <laughs> I didn't even know there were these many minorities. See, he's way ahead of us. Also represents uh, Carly Fiorina's golden parachute payment when she was dumped from Hewlett Packard. Still been going up. Also represents a uh, number of orgasms Carly Fiorina has not had. <laughs> Okay, and it's also uh, the number of times <laughs> Bernie Sanders gets up in the middle of the night. <laughs> also, getting this now, it's also the number of sponges Ben Carson has accidentally left in his face. Uh, yes, and this is also the number of personalities Hillary Clinton has tried on in this campaign so far. It's also the number of times people have exited a Jeb Bush town hall and said, Me! Look at those knees go up. This is the Triumph 2016 election special with your host, Triumph the Insult Comic Doll. Thank you. Thank you and welcome to the Triumph 2016 election special. This year, America is faced with one of the most critical choices in this country's history. For me to poop on. <laughs> For a story of this magnitude, the coverage you find on network and cable news simply won't do. We live in an age where what passes as reporting is simply retweeting the latest soundbite. But that's not the Hulu way. <laughs> For this special, I emulated the great reporters of old. I went to the town halls and the diners. I talked to the voters. I banged their pets and shat on their carpets. <laughs> Much the way my hero, Charles Corralt, would have done. <laughs> On this journey, I've been to...